Russia's new AI-powered tanks rolled onto the scene at the Defense Expo 2025, and military experts couldn't believe their eyes. The massive event held in Moscow was buzzing with excitement as people crowded around to see these machines in action. The tanks didn't just look tough, they moved like nothing anyone had seen before. With sleek designs, glowing lights, and a hum that filled the air, they seemed more like something from a sci-fi movie than a battlefield. Experts stood there, jaws dropped, whispering to each other about how this could change everything in modern warfare. For years, Russia had been talking about bringing artificial intelligence into its military, and now, here it was, right in front of the world. The star of the show was the T-18 Predator, a tank that didn't need a full crew to operate. Inside, screens flickered as the AI system scanned the area, picking out targets faster than any human could. A Russian general stepped up to explain how it worked. He said the tank could think for itself, well, sort of. It could dodge missiles, find weak spots in enemy lines, and even talk to drones flying overhead, all without a soldier telling it what to do. The crowd watched as the T-18 rolled across a test field, dodging obstacles and firing at moving targets with pinpoint accuracy. Smoke filled the air, and the ground shook, but the tank kept going, untouched. People clapped and cheered, but the experts scribbled notes, their faces serious. This wasn't just a cool toy, this was a game-changer. Next to the T-18 was the Armada X-2, another AI beast. This one looked like an upgraded version of Russia's famous T-14 Armada, but with a twist. Its turret spun around without anyone touching it, locking onto a drone buzzing above. In seconds a loud boom echoed as the drone exploded into pieces. The general grinned and said the X-2 could fight in the air and on the ground at the same time. It had sensors that could see through fog, dust, and even electronic jamming, stuff that usually blinds regular tanks. Military folks from other countries watched closely, some looking worried. If Russia could really pull this off, their old tanks might not stand a chance anymore. The expo wasn't just about showing off, though. Russia wanted to prove a point. For years, they'd been hit with sanctions and cut off from Western tech, but here they were, building machines that made everyone sit up and take notice. The general bragged that Russian engineers had done it all themselves, no help needed. Some experts weren't so sure about that. They muttered about how Russia might have gotten parts from places like China, sneaking around the rules. But no one could argue with what they saw. The tanks worked, and they worked well. The crowd didn't care about politics anyway, they just wanted to see more explosions. One demo really stuck with people. The T-18 Predator faced off against a row of old tanks, the kind Russia used to rely on. These were clunky, slow machines, patched up from the Soviet days. The AI tank didn't even break a sweat. It zipped around them, firing shots that ripped through their armor like paper. In less than a minute, the old tanks were smoking wrecks, while the T-18 sat there calm as ever. A guy in the crowd yelled, That's the future! And a lot of heads nodded. The experts agreed. This wasn't just about power. It was about speed and smarts. The AI could react faster than any human crew, and that could mean winning battles before the other side even knew what hit them. The Armada X-2 had its own big moment too. They set up a fake battlefield with trenches, walls, and enemy drones buzzing around. The tank rolled in, its turret spinning like it had a mind of its own. Drones swooped down, firing fake missiles, but the X-2 shot them out of the sky one by one. Then it blasted through a wall, sending chunks of concrete flying, and took out a hidden target on the other side. The general said the AI could see the enemy even when they were hiding, thanks to heat sensors and radar. A British expert watching the show shook his head and said, we're going to need to catch up fast. You could feel the tension. Russia wasn't playing around anymore. People started asking questions, though. How real was all this? Sure, the tanks looked amazing at the expo, but could they hold up in a real war? The general waved off the doubts. He said these machines were already being tested in secret, and soon they'd be on the front lines. He even hinted they might show up in Ukraine, where Russia's been fighting for years. That got everyone talking. If these AI tanks could dodge missiles and outsmart enemies there, it'd be a big deal. But some experts weren't convinced. They pointed out Russia's military had struggled before, 
Could they really get this right so fast? The expo had a darker side too. A few activists slipped in with signs, shouting about how AI weapons could get out of control. They worried about machines deciding who lives and who dies. No humans in the loop. Security dragged them out quick, but their words hung in the air. The general didn't blink. He said the AI was under control, built to follow orders, not go rogue. Still, you could see some folks in the crowd looking uneasy. Tanks were one thing, but tanks that think? That's a whole different story. Even the experts admitted it was hard to predict what might happen if this tech spread. By the end of the day, the buzz was everywhere. News crews filmed the tanks rolling back into their hangars, and social media lit up with videos. People called it the dawn of a new era and Russia's big comeback. The T-18 Predator and Armada X-2 were the stars, no doubt about it. But the real talk was among the military folks. A US colonel said flat out, we've got work to do. A German engineer nodded and added, this isn't just a tank, it's a warning. Russia had thrown down the gauntlet, and everyone knew it. The race to build smarter weapons was on, and no one wanted to be left behind. Back at the expo, the lights dimmed, but the tank stayed in everyone's mind. Kids ran around pretending to be AI machines, while grown-ups debated what it all meant. The general took one last question from a reporter, why now? He smiled and said, because the world's changing, and we're ready. That stuck with me. Ready or not, Russia's AI tanks were here, and they'd stun the world. Whether they'd win wars or start new ones, no one could say for sure. But one thing was clear, Defense Expo 2025 wasn't just a show, it was a wake-up call. The next morning, headlines screamed about Russia's big reveal. Papers called the T-18 a metal monster and the X-2A drone killer. Online, people argued about whether it was all hype or the real deal. Some said Russia was bluffing, showing off fancy prototypes that never make it to the battlefield. Others thought it was just the beginning, that more AI weapons were coming. I scrolled through the comments and one stuck out. If these tanks are this good, what's next? Good question. The expo might have ended, but the story was just starting. Military bases around the world probably kicked into gear after that. You could imagine generals calling meetings, engineers sketching new designs, trying to figure out how to match Russia's move. The T-18 and X-2 went perfect. Nothing is, but they'd shown what AI could do in a tank. Speed, smarts, and firepower all rolled into one. Russia had been quiet on the tech front for a while, but now they were loud and proud. Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to the Vault of Epic Facts channel.